Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be trying to make the Diamond Casino from GTA in Minecraft. While this video is relatively short, it did take a super long time to make so I hope you enjoy and let's get started. The first thing I needed to do was make this little entryway where the cars pull in, so I started by making a 30 by 50 block rectangle out of netherite and raised that by 5. So it's a total of 6 high now. And on the edges you're going to want to cut out over here and fill in with either quartz or white concrete. I liked white concrete because it was a little dimmer than the quartz. And you're going to want to build that out. But make sure to leave the outline and build the outline out as well. Do that on both sides, but you're going to want the left side to be a little shorter because the doors are a little to the left and then make the doors. So I just did that by cutting out some netherite and leaving a little top portion just because of the way the doors look and I put in glass. If you want to do a sticky piston door or something like that, I'm sure there are other tutorials where you can make it more complex. Just do what you like. Next, you're going to do the same amount of concrete, but then make it go diagonally down and then kind of fill in the diagonal with some netherite. I'm adding some stone slabs over here. Well, it's going to be slabs to go up. And I just put slabs all around going three out from the left side and four out from the right because remember we didn't build out all the way on the right. I'm going to fill that in with some stone slabs and move on over here. Here I'm going to take some more smooth stone and put in some bushes because that's how it looks like in the game. If you want to have the game up with you, that's totally cool too. Or just find some reference pictures or you can just do it from memory. It really doesn't matter. Now feel free to bring this portion all the way out to the street if you're doing the full GTA environment, but I'm just making sure I have kind of a darker outline and then the eight bricks in the middle. This is just for the cars to pull in and I have uh, 10 blocks of smooth stone going out and then I kind of enclosed the first four with some more slabs and then I'm kind of just making this little portion and bring it all, all the way to the edge. I'm gonna add some bushes all the way in the middle and here is what it looks like so far. I just put two blocks of grass in the very middle just so I could use it as a reference and brought the sides out by 15. Next, I brought the some concrete out all the way forward so it's in line with the stone we built out and I'm just gonna go diagonally or more of a curved way all the way to the back and fill that in, making sure it's hanging over the sides somewhat. Now we're on to my favorite part. I'm gonna start by outlining the entire structure with two blocks of quartz and then I'm going to randomly, somewhat randomly, I actually ended up doing um, every third or fourth block of some dark blue stained glass and I just did a few layers of that and then made it a little more sparsely placed and I tried to do it somewhat randomly but also there was some sort of pattern to it but I also only did it on a curving way up so as you, as you can see only the left side gets it. Now here is the right side of the building and you can just see I'm doing the exact same thing, randomly placing things. And now over here, I'm actually starting to randomly place the quartz and filling the rest in with the dark blue glass instead of the other way around. So I'm just going to add a few little random quartz blocks and I gradually worked my way up to a lighter blue and then I ended up using some white stained glass for the top but you can also do cyan and then the light blue instead of the white. I filled that in with some sea lanterns but you can use glowstone or just use some more quartz on the top and then wrote the little diamond on the front. That process definitely took the longest but it ended up looking really pretty and I'm really glad with how it turned out. Thank you all so so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it or it helped you make your diamond casino because it did take quite some time to make. If you want to see more GTA videos, consider giving this video a like as that's how I kind of decide what to make next. 